up here is essentially because now is a critical time to educate people on the importance of polar bears, both polar bears and the Arctic, so much so that organizations such as Polar Bear International have designated 2008 the year of the polar bear. <laughs> incredible today, right? I love being on this planet and getting to experience it and explore it and I want to be a part of it and, and feel that. It's really scary to me to consider that we're going to be talking about polar bears someday like we do with our children about dinosaurs, that once they roamed the earth. I mean, certainly I'm not a scientist um, and I've not studied polar bears, but uh, you know, I think it's pretty simple. Um, there's a huge, there's a huge problem, and we have to do everything we can to try and turn this situation around. And I, I want to do as much as I can to get the message out about about the um, the plight of the polar bears. I'm out on the coast of the Hudson Bay, um, near Churchill, Manitoba, in Canada, with uh, the very inspiring Dr. Steve Amstrip from the U.S. Geological Survey. He's been studying polar bears now for over 27 years. Please, Dr. Amstrip, tell us what is going on with the polar bears. We've seen that polar bears in, in this part of the world, in western Hudson Bay and in northern Alaska, are being challenged by the decline in the sea ice. Less sea ice means less time that polar bears can hunt for ring seals, their preferred prey, and less time they can hunt means that their body condition declines, survival rates decline, and ultimately uh, population sizes decline. Well, we have to recognize that the reason that polar bears are being challenged is because the sea ice is disappearing. And the sea ice is disappearing because of warmer temperatures. Okay. We've got warmer temperatures because humans are putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere at an unprecedented rate. Those gases lie like a blanket over the surface of the earth and keep the earth warmer. Well, if humans are causing the problem, humans can fix it. Mm. It's really important to recognize that this is not irreversible. We can change our ways such that we can contribute less greenhouse gas to the atmosphere. Hopefully we can change our ways in time to save the sea ice and hence save the polar bear. What if it, it touches something in your soul that you have sort of a, an obligation almost, a responsibility to, to do everything that you can to uh, learn as much as possible and to, to see that the future generations will also do the same to the best of their ability so that they and their children and grandchildren will be able to enjoy a more healthy ecosystem.